Hi, you are a person first before you're any of these other roles that you might have in life. I received an email from a therapist asking a question that I think is really important and I want to share it with you. And remember, this is Ask Dr. Anna, so this is always going to be about your questions and the things that are most important to you about trauma and recovery. And I want you to also always know that we never reveal personal details about you. We try to protect your identity. So let's read this email. I have been fortunate enough to be a psychotherapist for the past two years and I have had a really difficult time building my porous boundary. That being said, how do I be present with my clients hear their pain and trauma, and maintain a boundary for myself to protect my empathic and gentle nature. I was brought to this very fortunate field and I truly love it. I've never been more fortunate. However, there are times when I walk away from my sessions truly impacted and shaken up. Do you have any thoughts? I'd love to develop the skill, but I'm having a truly difficult time. Beautifully, beautifully put. The reality is that this is a huge responsibility and issue and one that requires any person in a position for caring for trauma survivors or those experiencing extreme stress to deal with. Because you're human first before anything else. And I'm really impressed that you are being so honest to ask this question. And trust me, you're amazing to go through the discomfort of the learning curve needed to help trauma survivors effectively. And I'm honored with your question. So in my practice, I work with professionals all the time. And recently I met with a lawyer who has been working with me through therapy. This is such a tragic story because this lawyer works with um, serious injury accident um, cases. And so the other day he was saying that he sat with a mother whose seven-year-old child was tragically killed in a motor vehicle accident. Can you imagine what it was like for that lawyer to sit with that mother there is no taking away pain that is that acute in the moment. Second, you are never going to be able to do this work without it having some impact on you. This is normal. Third, I want you to recognize that we are actually wired. We're hardwired with something called mirror neurons. And these mirror neurons actually are wired to help us learn from other people, grow together, see things and recognize emotions in other people, and we want that to happen. And it's really important to recognize because we have these mirror neurons, and this is the next point, that in fact, doing this trauma work is actually a double-edged sword. It's because you have that empathic capability that you're able to reach out and actually offer some compassion, some kindness in those terrible moments. But that's also what leaves you open to feeling the pain and discomfort. And then my final point is you must make it your business to work as hard caring for yourself as you do with other people and learn that there are strategies and skills that you can take with you everywhere you go, both into the therapy session and afterwards to help you do your most important work because let's recap. First, you are human before anything else. Next, it is normal to have feelings when others around you are suffering. Mirror neurons engage empathy and you must, absolutely must care for yourself as well as you care for those who you provide service for. I hope that you'll be able to use these messages to help you in your trauma work and your own personal growth and recovery.